And starting off quickly here as both boxers try to establish their quick jabs and working into those hooks. Bishop, very strong, does a good job of countering in and out of combinations. Sassetti, skate well, big, big hooks. Sassetti getting a little bit of, bit of an extra workout coming over from Carroll Hall every day to the choice zone to work out in the field house. Not close. <laughs> Not at all. There's a reason they call it far quad right yeah. now. Bishop doing a good job early in this one. Working the jab, but Sassetti, he's a very aggressive fighter. Staying on the offensive thus far in the first round. Really doesn't let off the gas. Big hooks, we see him right there. He'll throw the one, two, three all day, one, three. He changes direction so quickly, keeps him going around the ring. So said he never stops on the offensive. A dangerous boxer. Sassetti getting fired up as he has a nice size cheering section here. Just to our left. Wonder if they made the trek from Farquaad as well. But 176 championship bout. Junior captain Brett Sassetti taking on the senior captain, Pat Bishop. Big jab and hook combo there from Sassetti. And we told you folks, he's an aggressive offensive fighter. And he is just taking it to Bishop right now. He's almost floating. It doesn't even seem to move his feet, just his hands. Absolutely phenomenal aggression out of, out of Sassetti thus far. That was really his first big and long extended flurry. Puts Bishop up to a 10 count here from the referee. Bishop has to establish his position, push forward, find himself in the ring. Sassetti just doesn't stop. And he refuses to be locked up. You'll notice, uh, and as you might have seen in this, the semifinals, People try to lock Brett Sassetti up, and he has nothing of it. He'll change his direction. He'll push your hands down and go right back at you. And Bishop almost running away from him at that point just to try to get a little room to, to counter punch. Blood time here as they're going to clean up Bishop. Sassetti, we're not even out of the first round yet. And there's, there's the, the bell. bell. Wow, a heck of a first round. Definitely the most exciting thus far in the night as we move into the 176 pound nice weight class tonight. Nice and relaxed. Nice shot, Brett. <coughs> and here listening to the blue corner of Brett Sassetti. Hey, Brett, good ups and downs, all right? Ups and downs. Keep doing what you're doing. We want to make sure that when we're in close, that we get here. We don't want to go close to here. We don't want to be here. Coach reminding him to keep his form as he keeps those flurries coming. I mean, every time you're backing up, it's the same point. Yeah, he's got long reads, that's why. If you could just make a point of staying put, right? Getting your hands up, knocking the first couple punches down, and finding that, that right up, that left let uppercut. Him, let him walk in. Hey, 5 2. Let him get inside you. 5 2. Set the tone. Set the tone. Push him back. Push him fucking back. Strength. Use your muscle. So the gold corner telling there. Use your strength, use your muscle, establish your position. Bishop a little fired up to come back at Sassetti. But Sassetti picks up right where he left off and, and it feels like Bishop doesn't even know where he's at. Not at all. He's fighting just for room to see where he can punch. Hold your ground. He's landing a jab here and there, but He's too busy on the escape of the uh, defensive to establish any offensive identity. Seems like one to every five that Sassetti comes with. Sassetti really deceptively quick, too. Yeah, it really gets dangerous when you can combine that much speed with that much power. And then a relentless attitude, seemingly relentless, only there to an uppercut, as instructed by uh, Bishop's corner, working it in here. Slow. Uh, Sassetti down, just a second. There we see Pat Bishop, the senior from New Jersey. 
And we saw him find it. You know, he landed a few jabs counter, but he he hasn't found his place in the, in the ring yet, it seems like. Yeah, he hasn't found out how to quite deal with this pace that society's bringing to him for the past one and a half rounds. Halfway through round two of the 176 championship bout. I don't know if Bishop can just slug it out with Sassetti like this. Bishop landing a nice left, nice right there. And Sassetti. Bishop has a chance to go on the offensive here, but Sassetti responds quickly. Right back into it, pushing him right back on the ropes. Opponents filling each other out with the, the jab here, but Sassetti still just staying on the offensive the onslaught. Now he's starting to work to the body. There we see an uppercut. Now it's left jab after left jab. Not a lot of defense in this one, folks. But the excitement is there, Ryan. I Absolutely. Tell you that. It really gets the crowd that's pouring into the joy center here, into the fight. There's a big left hook there from Bishop. So Bishop finding some offensive light, but as soon as I say that, of course. Sassetti strong in that corner to finish that second round. And a promising third round here. Absolutely. High energy, high excitement, and high effort from two young men. Nice deep breath. We gotta keep our hands up. We're taking shots. You weren't taking shots in the first round. And Sassetti just being reminded to keep that form and to make his punches count because he is definitely throwing enough of them. 176 championship bout. The Italian Ice, the junior captain in the blue corner, taking on the hitman, the senior captain there in the gold corner. And uh, it has been a really two rounds of two different styles. So far, you have to think maybe Sassetti has the upper hand. Thus far, it does appear to be so. Bishop packs some punch in those powers when he's able to land them. Absolutely. So Seti really just a tornado. Doesn't stop coming at him. So push you with his shoulder. He'll work his jabs. If you're slowing down, he'll hit you with his hooks. It's a relentless boxer. Relentless and, a, and, and fearless. I mean, I mean this non-stop. Bishop going to the body, scoring some points there, but really yet to find a formula to slow Brett Sassetti down. Sassetti sacrificing for him just a bit there, leaning forward almost what they call a wrestler's stance, uh, but too far over on, on the top half and forgetting your feet when you're throwing all arms. So I'll have to keep that just so Bishop is not, not able to come back into. An uppercut? Is that what yeah, you throw? Well, the uppercuts, they're definitely there. And if, if Bishop can land them, you know, amongst the flurries of Sassetti, it'll prove useful for him. Round two. A few seconds left here. Turning into a slug fan. Both men just brawling here, right in front of us on the ropes. Nice exchange there. Both men just exchanging hooks and jabs. Come down the home stretch here. Maybe that's really the first time we've seen Bishop been able to tie Sassetti up. And Sassetti, even in the rock up throw, those quick <laughs> hooks to the body. Never slowing down, but definitely sacrificing a little stance, but I don't think Bishop has a chance to see it amongst all the punches. Both boxers trying to get those low points low in on the abdomen, as much a scoring area as the face. It's really just the, the jabs here. Sassetti's reach coming into play. And he, he needs to keep those hands back to protect, protect his face. I suppose, in Sassetti's opinion, the best, best offense is a good defense. defense. And 
there's the bell. So a very high energy, high effort, high excitement bout. The 176 championship. Talon Isosetti taking on the hitman Bishop. It's really an offensive onslaught. It, Brett Sassetti had his game plan and it executed early and often in this one. Absolutely. Either way, great job by two captains who represent the higher standards of this organization. In a very different fight from the two captain competition right before <laughs> us with Ulleries and Suno Cho. Just shows you how varied the personal style can come in and when you're incorporating what you're being taught every day by the same coaches and the same captains. It really goes back to the point you were talking about earlier where everyone's taught the same and you play on your own strengths. And Absolutely. there we saw Ladies and gentlemen, that. the winner of this final round contest and the champion of the 2013 Bangabout 176 pound weight division by split decision in the blue corner, Brett Italian Isisetti. Blue corner, yet to lose tonight here at the 83rd Bingo Bouts Championships. Maybe that. Oh!